hello, hello. I know tonight is a busy night for a lot of people and I've been missing you all. It's been a couple of days since I came in here. I want to say maybe I came in here yeah, Friday to give you the challenge of the day, right? So I'm coming back in here because there's something being that the work week is about to start. We need to talk. Yes. So when we think about what it takes to be successful, yes, successful in life, especially like in the workforce, sometimes we think it's like the skills, it's, you know, what's on the paper, those hard skills. And granted, yes, those are the things that get you in the door. But we also need to think about mm, is some of the things, actually, there's a research, 75% of success, career success is predicated by these three things. Let me get my finger straight. These three things that I'm about to tell you. So, one is optimism. Now, you know, that's your belief system and, you know, what, basically being positive (laughs) about things and looking at the glass half full and not half empty, you know what I mean? And then the second one is your social connection, your depth and breadth of how you treat your social relationships. And the third thing is how you handle stress. Yes. Stress can be the death of you. <laughs> like I used to travel for uh travel. I used to have bad migraines. I did used to travel too. But I used to have bad migraines and to a point where like it had to be lights out, go to bed, it was a wrap with everything. So those are some of the things that help you to be successful and people take the soft skills for granted. So they don't highlight them. So there's an article that Seth Godin, he's a like a motivational speaker, a guru in his field, and he talks about how soft skills is important. And it's worth checking out. I'll actually put the link in the comment below. But this is a simple task, but a hard task I'm going to challenge you with. Yes. Simple, but hard. <laughs> yes. So I want you to, regardless what people do to you, today for the next 24 hours really so whenever you watch this for 24 hours after assume everyone has good intentions can you do that assume everyone has good intentions now this is even those who you know may cut you off on the highway you may be gonna curse them out or just get on the evil eye or something like that i want you to believe they have a good intention and maybe they are worrying about getting home with maybe an emergency or getting to work and they may think that you know it's their last time that they can be late before they lose your job always think someone has good intentions you know that's your challenge for the next 24 hours can you do it i believe in you you can do it you can do it so with that now i know that that some people have like notions or i think that you know, when it comes to, like, dating and stuff like that, because I had a comment made to me, oh, should I continue to proceed to reach out or whatever? That's a three-strike rule. One, two, three. Three times you reach out, no response is dead. All right? So let me just leave <laughs> it at that. But um, the things that are not talked about when it comes to being successful are things about are you inspiring? Are you charismatic? Do you collaborate well? Are you motivated? Are you focused? Like, think about those things in addition to the three things that I mentioned. Definitely optimism. Yeah, it's a a bad time. So you hear the noise of my family. But you know what? It's all love. Like, today is Sunday fun day. So it's not just me that you're hearing for the challenge of the day. So remember those three things that, you know, with research, 75% of career success and longevity have been based on those three things of optimism, uh, social social connection, as well as how you handle stress. Like, those things in your challenge. Are you up to that challenge for the next four, 24 hours? I'm about to give you 48 hours for 24 hours, because tomorrow I'm going to come with another challenge. I think you can do it. I, I really, really think you can do it. So, I'm going to do the challenge as well and comment below like how things are going and I want you to too like especially those trying situations where you're like why did this person do this and just really take that moment to like before you spaz out kirk out whatever the case may be just count from five down five four three two one 
Thanks. Mm-hmm. Now, I really feel like I'm Janet Jackson when I do that countdown, especially if you've ever been in my size live classes. I feel like I'm Janet Jackson with like the headphone, the microphone, and everything like that. So, that's your challenge for the next 24 hours. 24. Are you up for it? I think you're up for it. I think you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Like, too many times we don't believe in ourselves. And we doubt ourselves. We need to flip that around. Flip it, flip it, flip it. I know a lot of you are watching the BT Awards. Maybe watching Power coming up. Like, enjoy this day. But then remember, your challenge. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. You can do anything you put your mind to. And I look forward to hearing from you. And I'm going to put the article in here um, that Seth Godin talks about soft skills and how it's important to have those things and that's basically it i hope you had a wonderful weekend i wish you all peace and blessings i will be back again tomorrow i'm calling it an early night i already watched power and the dvr is catching bt awards i have to start my in it to win a challenge tomorrow so i'm going to focus on that by getting up early and getting back into that regimen of working out and doing my a move a day for 80 days with coach chris mg who was that that is me (laughs) talk to you later peace and blessings to you and yours and it's a new week new week new goals what are your goals let's talk about it let's make it happen and tomorrow i'm giving a money money monday tip money monday tip and tuesday's travel tuesday Wednesday's well, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. All right, you get the drift. So we'll be talking each day. And if you want to be in this one, let me know. Like, that pod is getting big. And we have weekly mini challenges with gift prizes and all that good stuff. And the main prize is that you are going to be taking care of you. You are going to be getting healthier and well and up so many different aspects and vibing out with so many dope people like i'm just excited yay all right i'm getting into my little singing mode and i don't think you want to hear me sing and i hear my baby so i'm gonna talk to you later tomorrow right and let me know how it goes bye